So in this week's video, I'm going to take you through a glute workout. And this can be done at home or in the gym. And we are going to use uh, just one piece of equipment, a dumbbell. The reason I do a lot of my workouts with a dumbbell is because it is easily accessible, uh, very easy to store at home. And you can also do the same thing in the gym. So welcome back to my channel and let's get on with it. Hi, it's Clara here from ultimatephysiquetraining.com where I work with women over 40, uh, get stronger, fitter and healthier as they transition through their menopause journey. Okay, so before I launch into the actual workout, uh, I just wanted to do a quick sort of overview of um, the anatomy of the glutes. Uh, the reason why it's important for me to do this is so that you guys have a visual of what the glutes look like underneath, right? All of that. Uh, and that way you can put your mind to the muscle that's working. So I'm going to focus on the two big kind of muscles around the glutes, which is the gluteus maximus, maximus, big, big part of the, of the, of the glutes, okay? And the gluteus minimus, small part of the glutes, which is on the top here, the hump of the of of your of your bum or you know where it goes kind of like that it looks peachy and cute <laughs> so that's the anatomy okay so when you're doing the exercises i will cue you anyway right just always think about the muscles that are working um, at the back here now any type of leg movement right if you're working your hamstrings your quadriceps so if you're doing squats and lunges etc will always bring in the glutes okay so every time you go to the gym right and you're doing a leg workout the glutes will always be activated and they'll be working as well okay Vice versa, if you're working, if you're going to the gym to specifically work or to at home, whatever it is, to specifically work the glute muscles, inevitably, inevitably, I can't talk today, we will be also working the other muscles, the hamstrings especially because they are directly attached onto the glutes and obviously the quads. That is the anatomy of the glutes. Uh, let's get on with the actual workout. Uh, this time I am actually going to talk you through the workout rather than doing commentary. Okay, so without further ado, let's get okay, on with it. Okay, so here we go. We are going to begin our workout and uh, stay with me up till the end because we will be doing a finisher, which is a great one to do, um, especially when you don't have time. So that little bit on the end, uh, which is going to be our finisher, um, you know, uh, will be a great one that you can just take off cut it out and do it separately if that makes sense okay so let's start with a nice warm-up because we're working the lower part of our bodies right we need to get our bodies nice and warm so join me now so what we're going to do is we're going to lift up our legs going up that's it make sure you're landing about hip width apart feet landing about hip width apart or shoulder width apart and bring your legs up okay as high as you can i'm going to go to the side so you can see what I'm doing, okay? So I'm aiming for my knees to come towards my chest. Okay, brilliant, good, okay? After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an up and outward motion. Now, if you do not have, uh, if you do not, uh, your, your balance is not that great, what you can do is you can hold on to a, like here, like a chair or something like that, and just go up and out, okay? So let's do one leg at a time, actually. Right, so it's an up out motion okay we're opening up the hip area okay very a lot of tightness in that area keep going up and out that's it other side up out up and out bring the knee towards you and out up and out two more that's it last one brilliant okay now we're gonna kick up in the air I want to see the bottom of your foot as you're doing that so we kick up here. I'm still landing with my feet about hip width apart. Okay, I should be able to see the bottom of your foot as you're doing that. Knee nice and straight. Let's go to the side so you can see me. I said for five, four, three, two, 
one good partial squats let's go here and squat down now we're not going deep in any squat okay we're just going to go here so push the tush out and come up You can have your feet or your legs a little bit wider. Just literally just bend at the hip, come up, squeeze on the glutes. Let's go five more and four and three and two and one and stand up. That's it, lovely. I'm gonna hold on to the wall. You can hold on to the chair if you like, okay? And I'm gonna kick up. That's it. Okay, still opening up the hips warming up the leg area our hips tend to get very stiff as we get older can you hear my breath already okay so we're getting warmer and warmer and warmer and relax okay and then what we're gonna do here we're gonna sweep down with our arms and come down okay into a partial squat again for those of you who do kettlebells you will know this movement really well, okay? So we're thrusting forward with the hips, warming up the arms as well. Five and four and three and two and one. Lovely, good. Okay, let's just go for a quick stretch. We're working primarily the glutes, so really, really quick stretch. I'm gonna hold onto the wall here for support. I'm gonna cross over, my legs cross over, and I'm just gonna go into a squat, okay? and that is stretching that area here okay so we're just going to do it really really quickly nothing fancy nothing uh, long okay other side okay so it's really important to do your warm-up and your stretches if you can some people miss out the stretches and they'll do them at the end uh, but for me i like to do stretches just to get the body really ready for what we're going to do okay Let's stretch the hamstrings and the glutes now. Okay, we're gonna go here, feet hip width apart. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing. I draw my belly, my belly button into spine and knees back. And all I'm doing is I'm allowing my glutes to go back towards the sofa. I look straight forward. Your knees might bend a little bit, that's fine. Come down, allow your, ar your arms and your shoulders to kind of dangle down towards the floor. You're gonna feel it all at the back here. Okay, hold it there, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly up. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so let's go here. We're gonna go here now, press the heel down. Okay, foot nice and straight. Okay, and lean forward. So hinge from the hip, lean, and support yourself on the other leg. We step in, repeat other side, okay? so. I'm in London, it's extremely cold. I'm not gonna go through a long um, stretch because my body temperature comes down very, very quickly. Okay, we're in the winter now. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, and then let's just stretch the quads as well. Those are gonna take quite a beating today. Okay, so all you wanna do is allow your heel to go towards the glutes, knees pressed together, Push your hip forward, and you feel that stretch all in the front of the thighs there. Good, and then other side. You go here, here, here. Feel free to pause this video. If I'm going a little bit too fast, pause it, do the movement, and come back onto it. That's it, and now we're ready okay, to work. first exercise is gonna be a wide stance goblet squat. Okay, so wide stance squat, goblet squat. That is gonna work the glute muscles. Obviously the hamstrings come into play as well, as secondary muscles. The inner thigh muscles, okay? Those are gonna be working as well. And obviously the quadriceps, okay? So you're going to need a dumbbell. <clears throat> I'm using a six kilo dumbbell. I don't know what that is in pounds, sorry. We use kilos here in the UK. So I'm gonna use a six kilo dumbbell. I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see how I'm going to hold the dumbbell. So you've got two choices. You can do that, hold it like so, or some people like to hold it like that, close to the chest. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is our stance is going to be pretty wide. So we're going to go here. Let's hold it like this. Okay, toes outwards. Okay, I look straight ahead. Okay, and we're going to squat down for about 12 repetitions. Okay, ready? Knees go outwards, squat down and up. Okay, as you do that, glutes go all the way back and up. Okay, squat down, up, good, down up that's four and up let's go to the side so you can see what i'm doing okay that's four let's go down up can you see my glutes going towards that sofa down up down up down up i'm gonna face you now let's complete them we've got six more six good five four three two last one one and relax lovely fantastic okay so you're going to do that for three sets okay goblet squats for three sets um, and complete your workout from there remember when you go down squeeze up on the glutes as you come up get the inner thighs so go as low as you can and come back up, keep squeezing those glutes at all times. Do your three sets and we'll be in for uh, now the next exercise. move on to the dumbbell good mornings, okay? Dumbbell good mornings. And we are going to use two dumbbells, right? I'm gonna demo with a lighter weight, okay? Uh, just because I'm, I'm doing a demonstration. So I'm gonna pick up my lighter weights here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to place the weights on my shoulders, okay? My elbows are nicely relaxed either side of me, okay? Right, I'm gonna go from the side. So my feet are gonna be about hip width apart, okay? Nice and straight, toes nice and straight. Feet hip width apart. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna hinge and bend from the hip. My glutes go back towards the sofa. My back stays straight, I look straight ahead until I feel my hamstrings engage. And then as I come up, squeeze on the glutes, coming forward. Okay, so all we do, don't ask me why they call it good morning. Maybe this is the way you say good morning. I don't know, but let's just do it. So that's what we do here. End up, your knees are gonna be soft. Okay, some people do do this with a very straight knee, but have your knees soft. Do this movement very slowly, ladies. Okay, really, really slowly, because it's really engaging and loading up the hamstring. Okay, as you go down and up. Okay, brilliant, keep going. I'm gonna look straight ahead. And what I'm doing as I go down, watch what I'm doing, I go down, 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 pause, and up, squeeze, okay? Down, give myself two second pause, one, two, and up, keep going. So we've done about seven here. Eight. nine, 10, really push your hips back, all the way back, 11, or your bum, push it back, that's it, 12, we're gonna do 15 repetitions, three sets, 15 repetitions, 13, 14, last one, and 15 coming up, Bring the weights down nice and gently and relax. Ooh, 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 ooh. So that is working all the glute muscles here, the hamstring, right? And that tie in from the hamstring to the glutes. So that bit here that we've got that little fold is also working that area. Great work, ladies. Three sets of 15 repetitions. Do those and then we move on to the next exercise. Okay, we're done with those. Next exercise, we're gonna do a dumbbell stiff leg deadlift, but this one is gonna be slightly different, okay? So a stiff leg deadlift involves you holding a dumbbell and coming back, okay? So glutes go back, just the, the dumbbells kind of go to shin level and then you come up. There's a very slight bend in the knee as you do these stiff leg deadlifts and come up, okay? Don't do this, okay? Only if you've got that flexibility in the hamstring, okay? So slight bend in the knee. But this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it partials. 
So we're only gonna come up a little bit, okay? So this is how it looks without the weight. I'm gonna demonstrate with the weight in a minute, okay? So we look straight ahead, okay? I come down, imagine I'm holding the weight. I come down, down, down to the shins. And then as I come up, I only come halfway up. The, the weights at this point are by my thighs, okay? At this point is where the glutes are really, really engaged. Okay, so we come down, squeeze on the glutes. Each time you're squeezing those cheeks nice and hard. Okay, coming down, squeeze, okay? So let's do that with weights, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate with the weights. This is a glute burner, ladies, I warn you, it is a glute burner. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna face you first. So holding the weights, okay? My feet are hip width apart, shoulders up and back, okay? And I'm gonna come down just to the shins until I feel my hamstring engage. And then as I come up, just to the thighs, but what I'm doing is I'm squeezing the glutes. And then down, two, squeeze. We're gonna do 12 repetitions. Three, squeeze. Again, take your time. Four, squeeze. Five, squeeze. Look straight ahead, that's it. Six, squeeze. Now I'm gonna to go to the side so you can see. Seven, squeeze. Can you see that squeeze? Eight, squeeze. And I squeeze and hold it for two seconds. Nine, squeeze. Whew. 10, squeeze. Two more. 11, squeeze. Really squeeze those glutes. Come on. 12, and squeeze and hold and relax the cheeks. Bring the weights down. Did you feel that? Exercise. Ooh, well done. Frog squats uh, using the dumbbell. Now, these ones, you can actually do it body weight only, okay? You've got the option to do it as a body weight only, but for you strong girls that have already got quite strong legs and strong glutes and strong core muscles, right? Lift up that weight, okay? Let's use the weight, okay? So these are called frog squats um and everything so i'm going to demonstrate without the weight first now my glutes are on fire from doing the previous exercise we're going to add on to that now okay so really have your mind to the muscle that's working because we're coming to the end of the weighted part of the uh workout so you, you're going to have to now really focus on what you're doing so you don't get injured okay so frog squats okay the stance okay it depends on you and it depends on your flexibility. For me, I can go down full squat with my legs like that, okay? For some people, it might be a little bit wider. So find your ideal spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come down here, okay? My elbows are either side of me, right? I go into prayer position, right? And I'm just gonna raise my glutes up and down, okay? So from the side, I'm here. I squat down, full squat down, okay? Heels are down all the time. Please do not do this. Heels are down, okay? Up and down. So I'm not standing. <sighs> down. All of the pressure is gonna be on the glutes, okay? And the thighs, the thighs will be on fire, okay? Now, you can go heavy on this if you want, but not necessary. It's probably better to use a lighter weight or just use your own body weight. Okay, so let's go for it. We're gonna do 10 repetitions because this is a glute and thigh burner, okay? So I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna start with my heavy one, okay? And then I'll probably drop down to my lighter one or to my body weight only, okay? So I'm gonna go to the side because you guys can see me better this way, right? I come down, elbows either side, chest up, I come up, one, two, three, that weight is close to my chest, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one. Ten, put the weight down. Ooh, and gingerly get up. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> 
okay so it's a crazy one but it works okay so if you want to get in some quad work in there as well do those okay your glutes in that position right remember they're staying completely okay activated in that position throughout okay because we're not standing up to kind of relieve the pressure okay right so great great exercise to develop uh, the glute max um, the glute uh, muscles and the quads and also to help you guys get that flexibility in your ankles because some of you ladies cannot squat all the way down here you're up here with your heels so press those heels down okay get it down as low as you can okay hope you enjoyed that exercise okay we're gonna do uh, three sets 10 repetitions okay ladies here we go so we finished the main weighted workout where we're working in sets and reps now this is the thing that I promised you at the beginning of this video which is we're going to do a glute burner finisher right we're gonna do two exercises back to back I'm going to talk you through the whole thing. So we're going to do three rounds of these exercises back to back. Now, what, what are these contraptions that I'm holding, okay? This is a booty, booty band, as they call it, and this is a normal uh, power band, okay? Now, the first exercise we're going to do is we're going to do an abduction exercise, okay? So we're going to lift the leg to the side. It's almost like a side lateral with the leg okay working that little muscle here that hump that we were talking about okay right so you can either do this as a body weight right or you can add a band to your legs okay so you've got the option to do that okay now I am NOT going to demo with a band I was just showing this to you guys so that you can see what options you've got okay so we're going to do everything with uh, body weight for this particular um, uh, demo okay right so what we want to do is we want to stand either holding onto a wall if you've got access access to a wall or fireplace or something like that or onto a chair so you can grab a chair and just hold on to the back of the chair <coughs> over here right okay and all we're gonna do is we are going to face our toes down and heel outwards so I'm almost going down and out if that makes sense so my heel will be leading all the way toes are pointing this way okay my leg is straight and I'm just going to do that movement okay I pause for two seconds at the top and bring it back down okay so we turn and we go up okay so we're gonna do about 12 repetitions there when we finish that we're gonna go straight on the floor lying down we're gonna do hip extensions okay so from here hip extensions heels coming towards you but not too far in okay knees about hip width apart hands underneath here so lift up your 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 booty a little bit have your hands flat to the floor okay and all we're gonna do is just squeeze up and down thrust up down thrust up slowly down thrust up slowly down okay so those two movements that's why I call it a glute burner okay now you can do those two movements by themselves if you wanted to if you didn't have enough time to do the whole workout okay let's begin so I'm holding on to the wall I turn toes facing me this way heel is facing you that way okay and we go up one two squeeze three make sure that's nice and tight four five six keep that foot like that seven at an angle eight nine ten eleven Ooh, twelve okay other side okay I'm here I turn heel leading and go up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten two more last one brilliant okay straight on the floor oh my glutes are burning straight on the floor so we go here I'm lying back okay hands flat to the floor feet flat to the floor okay I'm gonna thrust up my hips go towards the ceiling and down okay hold it up two seconds one two hold 
down again up one to hold down again up one to hold down again one to hold down that's four five six so I'm raising up so the only thing on the floor is my shoulder blade seven I pull my abs in tight eight squeeze nine squeeze ten good two more down last one that's it and I get up again oh I told you it was a bonus okay right let's go again no rest in between set up take your time with the setup you hear me saying this all the time in every single video that I do turn your your, your leg this way heel towards you right and go up one pump it up two squeeze three squeeze four squeeze five squeeze six squeeze seven eight nine ten two more one two okay so you can imagine doing that with a band okay set up feet hip width apart I turn my heel towards you my toes are towards the wall bring up my leg up one make sure you don't step back okay the leg is suspended in the air all the time feel the glutes working so put your finger there feel the glutes working five six seven standing leg is working as well eight nine ten eleven twelve beautiful okay on the floor set yourself up hold on to the afro <laughs> hands here okay okay I pull in the abs nice and tight breathe in breathe out are we ready my feet are nice and straight and go okay thrust up squeeze down one thrust up squeeze two thrust up squeeze three shoulder blades on the floor seven sorry six seven I think I miscounted as usual eight <laughs> nine good ten two more last one and relax okay third set let's go okay so you can imagine you can be doing this round after round after round okay let's go third set okay so we're here feet hip width apart I turn heel is towards you toes are towards the, the wall I lift up my leg squeeze up up one squeeze up two squeeze up three four five six seven eight you can do this anywhere nine ten eleven twelve even waiting for the kids to come out of school on the school run find yourself a corner <laughs> and do your glute workout two good three four squeeze five six really squeeze it and come on seven eight nine ten two more brilliant good on the floor while the glutes are burning we go on the floor straight away give it a different movement now okay hip extensions hands underneath the shoulders and ready and go let's go up squeeze one up squeeze two up squeeze three I'm really thrusting up towards the ceiling and squeezing at the top two seconds hold and down two second hold down that's six two second hold down seven two second hold down eight two second hold down nine my glutes are burning now come on two more two more come on ladies last one and squeeze down bring your knees into chest we are done 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 oh fantastic well done ladies well done for doing that workout all right ladies well done well done well done i hope you went through the whole workout 
Um, the reason I recorded it like that, where I was only showing you one set of an exercise, apart from the finisher, obviously, is to just cut back on time, on recording time, because if I try and do a longer video to upload, it takes forever. Feel free to use the demonstrations that I've shown you in this video. Uh, maybe follow me with the first set and then pause, complete the, the other sets and then go to the next exercise. So just feel free to use uh, this information the way you see fit. Also, please share it to, with any other woman that you think, you know, is interested in working out from home or f is at the gym, but is not really seeing much results or just wants that booty lift. Okay, we all need a little bit of help. Okay, so fantastic. Right, and also please let me know, I know I ask this in every single video, let me know what, what type of content you'd like to see. Right now, I'm just doing different types of things uh, and everything. So comment below with the content that you would like to see from me, okay? So I have, really hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Thank you very much for staying till the end. That little finisher was your bonus for you guys to do. You can do that at any time. So take care, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in my next video. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.